Uh, Hare Krishna, everyone. Um, I wanted to give a, an update on the program I went to in Birmingham last night. Um, I, I came away feeling quite uh, overwhelmed with information and things to write down. I haven't had a chance to write it down yet. So I thought if I um, put together a Facebook Live, I can rewatch it later and write down uh, the things I've, I've learned from last night. So I'm currently in Birmingham. I went to a program last night. Uh, yesterday was the disappearance day of His Holiness Gorgovinda Goswami. So Gorgovinda Goswami uh, is a, an ISKCON sannyasi, an ISKCON guru. If you go to a list of um, uh, ISKCON gurus on, on online, you'll find that Gorgovinda Goswami um, is featured there. Gorgovinda Maharaj uh, was a Diksha disciple of Srila Prabhupada and a sannyas disciple of um, Srila Prabhupada. He was a bit older than the rest of the um, uh, sannyasis around in the in, in certainly in the seventies when Prabhupada was was giving other individuals um, diksha and sannyas. He was quite a bit older, um, and he had spent a long time looking for his guru Maharaj. And he met Prabhupada and was 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 uh, strongly of the view um, that that was the guru for him. So Gorgovinda Goswami. Um, um, did a lot for Prabhupada. He translated most of Prabhupada's, a lot of Prabhupada's books into the native language of the state of Odisha, which is Uriya. I think it's called Uriya. Um, and he built a temple in Bhuvaneshvar, uh, an Iskon temple um, for Srila Prabhupada. Um, and um, it's a beautiful temple. I went there five years ago and I stayed for a week. It's a really beautiful temple, very big, very spacious, and it's right next to a motorway, right next to National Highway 5. And one of the things I learned at last night's program for Gorgovinda Goswami is that um, when he started to build the temple, he had no resources. Prabhupada said, you can have the same resources that I had when I went to America, which was nothing. So from nothing, Gorgovinda Goswami built this beautiful temple. At the time, it was in the middle of a jungle, in the middle of the forest. And if you go there now, it's definitely not a forest. Prabhupada said that if you start building the temple, if you build a temple here in Bhubaneshwar, um, then the city will be based around the temple. And that prophecy absolutely has come true. The major motorway uh, and cross-section link road goes right around the Iskon temple in Bhubaneshwar. So last night, I went to this Disappearance Day program. It was organized by a devotee who was there at the disappearance in uh, February 1996 of Gorgavinda Goswami. And um, one of the things, <laughs> I've been so intrigued by so many things during this research. But one of the things that really intrigued me about this research was that it was uh, predominantly organized by members of the local uh, Gorga, uh, Sri Narayan Maharaj temple. Um, there was a close relationship between Gorgavinda Goswami and Sri Narayan Maharaj. Um, and I can understand and I can see why there was a, um, a close relationship between the two. Um, some of you might know the kind of politics that Gorgavinda Goswami experienced with the GBC in the mid 90s. There was a disagreement over the nature of the soul, the jiva, uh, how we come to this spiritual world. Uh, and I believe that uh, as a result of that disagreement, Gorgovinda Goswami was, was um, I think he might have been exiled from ISKCON for a short period of time, um, um, which has happened to others over the years. Brahmananda Prabhu, who was a great disciple of Prabhupada, was also kicked out of ISKCON briefly in the, in the 70s. And then came back. So anyway, um, when Gorgovinda Goswami left his body in uh, f February 1996, he left in such a way, um, I believe during Kirtan, in such a way that he was recognized to be a pure devotee. So soon after, Iskon <laughs> labeled him as an Iskon guru again after that short period of exile. So last night's program, as I say, was largely um, funded, supported and prashadam provided by disciples of Srila Narayan Maharaj. Um, Srila Narayan Maharaj spoke very highly and fondly of Gorgavinda Goswami. Um, um, 
um, it was my limited knowledge of Srila Narayi Maharaj is that Srila Narayi Maharaj uh, Srila Narayi Govinda Goswami was one of the only gurus in ISKCON that he often would speak highly of on a regular basis um, I met a sannyasi last night called um, His Holiness Nimai Bhaktivedanta Maharaj um, and one of the things I noticed um, about him whilst viewing him on social media over the last few years is that he's almost or pretty much as English as me. So I'm from a very English city called Bath uh, or Bath, depends which part of the city you're from. And um, I met Nimai Maharaj yesterday and um, anyway, I learnt within a minute and a half of being with him that he also grew up in Bath. So he is... Um, he didn't. He wasn't born in Bath. He moved to Bath at the age of three or four, I think he told me, and then he left at the age of fifteen. So he lived in Bath. And just a quick uh, asterisk note: um, two other sannyasis that have links to the West Country. So Mahavishnu Swami, Maniskan Guru, he studied in Bath. He went to college. He went to the Fine Art College in Bath. And also Jananda Goswami is from Swindon, which is just up the road uh, from from Bath. Um, so a bit of a footnote there. So, um, yeah, great to spend time with Nimai Bhaktivedanta Maharaj. Nimai Bhaktivedanta Maharaj is a Diksha disciple of Srila Prabhupada. He was initiated by Prabhupada in uh, uh, 1973. Um, he then, you know, sailed the ISKCON ship pretty much until the early 90s and then uh, was feeling quite disillusioned over... Um, some of the gurus that were falling, um, such as, such as, well, Bhagavan, I think, was earlier in the 80s, but feeling quite disillusioned, and then took shelter of Sri Narayan Maharaj. He met Sri Narayan Maharaj in, in 1996 when when he visited um, the UK. Fast forward to 2004. In 2004, Nimai Bhaktivedanta Maharaj took sannyas from Sri Narayan Maharaj. Um, uh, so I, I, spent, I spent an hour with him last night just talking and chatting about old pastimes and various things. Um, he, he knows Ranchor Prime extremely well. Ranchor is a, is a great scholar in Krishna consciousness. Many of you know Ranchor. And also he told me that, um, so Kripa Moya, many people know Kripa Moya. Kripa Moya is, a, is now an ISKCON guru. Um, um, he has, has a growing number of disciples in the UK. Um, Nimai Maharaj told me that he was the one that... Um, kind of signed up Kripa Moya to Krishna Consciousness in 73, so I shall ask Kripa Moya if that's, if he remembers that. Um, so I had a, a wonderful evening, and, um, you know, the fact that what I saw last night was, you know, an ISKCON guru on his disappearance day being glorified by disciples of Sri Naraya Maharaj, and seeing that there was quite a crossover, there was quite a lot of people in the room that had maybe taken Diksha from Gorgavinda Maharaj, but then took Brahmin initiation or another t level of initiation from Sri Naraya Maharaj, showed that there was quite a close link. Most of the devotees there last night in Birmingham were of the ISKCON fold up to a certain period of time. Um, they uh, they talked about, they reminisced about when Gorgavinda Maharaj visited the Birmingham Iskon Temple at Stanmore Road uh, in the 90s and just how elevated they felt by being with him, how wonderful they felt in his presence. Um, uh, so, yeah, we they I didn't reminisce because I wasn't around, <laughs> but they I was just started secondary school in 1995. So they reminisced about times with Gorgavinda Goswami and, and the Hare Krishna movement um, in Birmingham. So I'm going to also write all that down uh, and um, um, post some videos and photos later. Um, what I'm doing as I'm traveling around is I'm sharing information that I've learned with various people. No strings attached, no hidden agenda. And one of the things that Nimai Maharaj was really intrigued by last night was I told them about the existence of the Gaudiya Mission UK, also known as the Vasudev Gaudiya Map, the Gaudiya Mission UK, are the original Hare Krishnas from the 30s. And I told him about the temple at Willesden. I told him about um, Daisy Boatwell, who became Vino Vani Devi Dasi, who actually 
became an initiating guru in the 60s and the 70s in London. He was fascinated by all of that. Um, uh, the founder Acharya of the Gaudiya Mission UK is Srila Bhakti Zadanta Saraswati Thakur, Srila Prabhupada's guru. If you go to the temple in Wilsdon, you'll see his name. And he's being glorified a lot. So, yeah, great program last night. Um, a range of devotees in the room. Um, on this research that I'm doing, I'm I'm being as objective as I possibly can be. I'm taking notes, I'm writing things down, I'm experiencing things. There was a term when I was at university when we were we were uh, told, um, so a shout out for my Shiksha gurus at university, Professor Denise Kush and Dr. Catherine Robinson. They taught us that when we're studying religion, uh, we should you and I've forgotten what the term is, but it's a it's participant observation. You participate in something, but you're also observing at the same time. So, for example, um, there was a period of time last night for about sixty seconds that I felt a little bit uncomfortable. Um, somebody made a comment that was critical of my Guru Maharaj, <laughs> and and the only person in the room, other person in the room that knew who my Guru was, was Nimai Maharaj because I. I made a point to tell him um, when I first met him just to put so he knew where I sat in the Hare Krishna family. Um, so that was a little bit uncomfortable. You know, other than that, it's um, Gaudiya Vaishnavism is like politics, isn't it? Uh, it's all about compromise. There's a famous quote from the man who saved 700 children from Nazi Germany. Nicholas Winton, was that his name? And he said that life is about compromise. I must get the quote. Um, it was even... I was going to mention Theresa May then, but <laughs> Theresa May quoted him when she left office. Uh, Nicholas Winton said that life is about compromise. He said he saved 700 children from the horrors of, of Adolf Hitler. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm. It's Valentine's Day, day of wonderful love. I'm going to Iskon Temple, the Iskon Temple today. Um, and I'm going to... Do some work. Okay, Hare Krishna.